Question 11. So a survey was conducted among 100 boys and 60 girls to determine how many of them watched TV in the period during which examinations were written. And their responses are shown in the partially completed table below. So these are the individuals that watched TV during exams and then did not watch TV, male and female. Okay, so there were 160 of them in total. 11.1. .1. Calculate the values of A and B. So to get the value of A, it's just 32 minus 12, so A is equal to 20. To get the value of B, that's 80 plus 48, uh, B is equal to 128. Look, imagine this. In a matric final examination, like what an easy question. 11.2, are the events being a male and did not watch TV during examinations mutually exclusive? Um, and if so, give a reason for your answer. No, they're not mutually exclusive, and here's the reason why. Being a male and did not watch TV during exams, so there's male, there's did not watch TV, we're looking at A, A is equal to 20. If events are mutually exclusive, they must equal zero. So must equal zero, must equal zero. This equals 20 out of 160. That's not zero. So that's 11.1 .1 sorted, that's 11.2. 11.3, if a learner who participated in this survey is chosen at random, what is the probability that the learner watch TV in the period during which examinations were written. So I'm just going to clean the screen a bit. So the probability is quite high because 128 learners out of 160 have been watching. So that's literally 4 over 5, or in other words, 0, 0,8 or 80%. You can list it literally however you want to. As a simplified fraction, a decimal or a percentage, all three will be accepted. And question 11.3.2 What's the probability that a learner is not a male, so in other words, is female, and did not watch TV in the period during which examinations were written? So, is not a male, which means that they're female, and did not watch TV? So, here meets here, it's going to be 12 over 160, and that's going to be our final answer. Uh, look, you want, if you want to simplify it, you can just leave it as 3 over 40, or even write some crazy decimal, 0, 0.075 or simply 7.5%. Those are all your options. So yeah, contingency tables, they're pretty easy.